Sal Fueling Station and I'm waiting for the Piccadilly line. We're taking one of my very complex routes to uh, Croydon. Croydon we are going uh, Piccadilly line to Green Park and we're changing for the Jubilee line to London Bridge and then we're changing for Thameslink, class 319 and then we're changing at East Croydon finally for the last three stop, no, two stop. It's 1973 stop and this is carriage number 142. Oh, we've got yellow foot plate as well. Hopefully Julie Berry has seen the announcements clearly. This is South Ealing. This is a Piccadilly line service to Cockfosters. Nice. There comes 224. I think it's the same thing. Mm -hmm. Train to go. Very eventful journey that was. Come on, focus. I managed to get a picture of the two disused stations, but, uh, one between Gloucester Road and South Kensington, which is um, Down Street, and then between High Park Corner and Green Park, uh, Brompton Road. I might have that in the wrong order, I'm not sure. Here we are, Hans. 142 leaving Green Park. Change for the Jubilee line now. One seven three on the back. Oh, I love the smell of the underground. Okay. Six zero eight five. They don't work, but I always press them anyway. This station is Bridge Street. Here for the Piccadilly and Victoria line. Exit here for Buckingham Palace. This train terminates at North Bridge. <laughs> so overreacted the announcement. Right, hold on time. It's gonna go fast. Thank you. 
think it's through there, you can see Charing Cross. Yeah, through there. Because the Jubilee line did actually used to terminate at Charing Cross before they it went to Westminster and they did the extension. This all has the suicide prevention doors on them. But the train, the Jubilee line is apparently automatic uh, ACO controlled now. Just to prove I do know the announcements, this is my favorite, one of my favorites on the Jubilee line. This train terminates at Greenwich. Okay, we're just arriving into London Bridge right now, and I might as well just... I like the door chime. Maybe not, that one's not working. Right, I just wanted to show you how fast this train departs, and how fast they arrive. This is the best train on the underground. One of the best trains on the underground, this is. <laughs> There's actually more coming in right now. I've never seen a train accelerate so fast in my life. That must be doing at least 35 miles an hour by the time it departs the station. I'm going to show you how fast the 1996 comes in. We're at London Bridge right now. Sound okay off the British Rail now. It is a bit of a shock to you. Um, I was just going to London Bridge to get on the train uh, to, to East Croydon, and the class 442 Wessex Electrics was there, uh, uh, used by Gatwick Express. So, um, it's quite a shock. We're going straight to East Croydon fast. And Zubin, if you're watching this video, your 455801 is on the opposite platform behind that 377 Electro Star. So Fortunately, they seem to have locked all the windows. I think they know that rail and TCS lights are window It's a shame. Um, I'm not sure if I can get through to the other car. If I can, then there's a guard's window I can manage. There's some amazing traction signs. These are just car. Bingo. Okay, I'll see you at uh, East Croydon then. Oh, I see a 455 ahead. Oh, I wonder if it's 817. I'm still... Well, no, I've already found that train now. I have 817. That's already come from there. Let's have a look, shall we? This will probably be... Uh, what's the first stop? Norwood Junction, I think. Give him a little wave. What is that? Eight four one. And on the front is eight three six. Now to should we pass on that side. Uh, Selhurst Depot. Selhurst Depot. Well, probably eight one seven might be in there. Uh, Tatton Corner train now. Going to Purley Oaks. 4.5836 So if you're watching, see then this one's for you as well. Oh, 
apologize for being out of breath. I was in about 10 seconds of missing this train. The traction sounds coming. I think he's in a hurry, this driver, to go. Hi there, sir. Um, I'm a rail enthusiast. I wonder if you could just give a little tone on the horn because I like the class 455. Yeah, alright. Oh, thanks. What, what, now? Yeah, no, as you uh, go past the signal. Yeah, alright, okay, well, you're going to film it? Yeah, yeah no, I'm a train spotter, yeah. Yeah, yeah. that's alright. A chaffer nut, they call them, don't they? Is that what they call them? A chaffer nut, yeah. That's, yeah. Uh, it's a nice train, the 4 I'm just glad to see it's still going. It probably won't break down. <laughs> nice train. Ready? Yeah, you should go yeah, just go faster the signal. Good driver. <laughs> Thanks, sir. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> That's what you call a good driver. Seven seven six four nine. I forgot we're on an eight car one. See, I was expecting him to say no because um, I happened said no before. What was on the back end? Was it 841 eight, was on the back? I forgot they always leave uh, pull out quite slowly here. Traction. And that's 841 to Tattenham Corner. Well, I was just uh, walking the route I normally used to walk down in Pearly Oaks. Um, I came here like last year at some point, but I used to come down there all the time in 2014. And I am absolutely gobsmacked to realise what a road is called over here, and I completely forgot it. Ever called it. Can you see that? It's called Florence Road. How the hell did I ever forget it was called that? It's a shame it wasn't. It'd be so when it was Florence and it had Ballard Avenue or something. But yeah, it's or I don't know, Diana or Mary Close or something. But yeah, well, I just couldn't believe it was called Florence Road. I saw it. I was like, oh my god. But this is called Norman Avenue here. So what I do is I used to just walk up here and I used to actually walk between Pearly Oaks and Pearly Station. It's about a 20 minute walk. But we're going to just take a relaxing time in one of the parks around here. Um, Selton Park Hotel and Golf Club. Let's see if we can get around there. But yeah, I just thought I'd share that with you. Right. <coughs> Well, we finally made it. I'm at that's an A321. Um, I'm at Selsden Park Hotel and Golf Club, and it's, it's it's beautiful. I mean, look at that. Just the scenery is amazing. I'm just hopefully finding a nice place to sit. I was worried at first. So let's walk. I mean, I didn't document the walk all up here because it was like the longest walk I've ever had. It's beautiful. What's all this? Got stones there, see? Mm. Mm. Getting the impression I've walked through a cobweb. There's a place I could just sit up here, maybe. It's nice up here. Maybe I should ask someone. Would you know if I'd be allowed to just. Mm. Oh my god, that is beautiful. I'll show you it around. I mean, hope the camera's focusing, but. Mm. Beautiful. I didn't think it'd be that nice over here. Oh, no. No, if you walk around here, then there's nothing.
All right, I think I've just located Biggin Hill Holding Stack. Oh, I, I didn't get him fully banking. That's a British Airways 777. That's him making that sound, actually. You can hear that. No, blinded by the... What a nice sound. Right or wrong? Just look how beautiful the scenery is. Just see it along there. There's people playing golf here. It's, it's, it's beautiful. But I'm not too sure if I can sit on this bit here. I can't get a thing of that. It's gone. Oh well. So what I catch is British Airways 747. I found a nice little spot on the grass I can sit on. No one's told me to move yet, so. Bloody loud that is. That's actually, you can tell how high up we are because that looks really low. But yeah, as I said, it's, it's beautiful. I'm just sat along here, I'm sat over there. On my little stone there. <sighs> yeah, so here I am, just sat Selsden Park Hotel and Golf Club. Mustn't forget the Golf Club part. That's because that's the main area we're on. So we can get out there. No, is she, she going to be. I've got Cadbury's Whisper. I've actually got about four or five bars of it. They're not bars, but packets of it. I'm going to just see if I can sit and relax a bit. I don't know. I've even got my drawing pad as well in case I want to do some drawing. If I could have some time, I could do some Diana Ross. But now, time to plug in my earphones and just listen to the Supremes. God, they're not going to mind me sitting here. I don't see why they would, because I'm not anywhere on the... I'm just sat really beside me, really, to be honest. It'd be good if one of them shouted four. Just a warning, I think, that you're going to get hit by a gold core. Drunken camera. <clears throat> Oh, I'm keeping it clean of litter as well. Right, so if Heathrow is that way, Gatwick must be that way then. I think I've seen a couple of flights coming out of Gatwick actually. We've got Blue Sky sort of now. Oh, oh, that was a good shot. Didn't get in, but that was a good, good, good hit though it was. I think you can see some of the action, don't you? Oh! Close. It's about less than a metre away from that hole. Mm. Nice day out it's been. Getting on that class 442 was the best thing I did. And a tone from that driver.
scenery you can see, it's just like it's something else. Yeah, look at that. That's the scenery, eh? That's kind of, that's cool. There's a communication area over there. That's just something else, that could be. You could just step onto that. Class 455, parting pearly. 62728, hang on. I recognise that. 77617, 843, 820 on the front. 77664, let's do Tatum Corner. This train is the southern service to London Bridge, calling at Crystal Palace, Gypsy Hill, West Norwood, Tulls Hill, North Dulwich, East Dulwich, Peckham Rye, Queen's Road Peckham, South Bermondsey, and London Bridge. The next station is Crystal Palace. This train is the southern service to London Bridge, calling at Gypsy Hill, West Norwood, Tulls Hill, North Dulwich, East Dulwich, Peckham Rye, Queen's Road Peckham, South Bermondsey, and London Bridge. The next station is Gypsy Hill. I thought the name Gypsy Hill. <laughs> Told you to do it. So I'm on my way home now, getting on the Jubilee Line at London Bridge. I just made the absolute fool of myself. Um, there's a train already here and I realised this was the westbound platform. And a guy got in my way and I ran for the doors. And obviously you know the Jubilee Line's got the suicide prevention doors. They closed first, I went slam straight into the door. Oh, here's our train now. Call sound. 6.05, oh, 0.58, that's what I got today, I think. So we get the 96 stop going out. That was a very eventful journey. 96.058. That comes to the end of our day now. These T8 tubes here as well on the fluorescence of the Here for those who are in sessions. 